you'll see in the previous video that the very first name that we've read from the text file, cricket, and stored in our array output here, contains some strange letters. And this is to do with the encoding of the text file. Now when we create a text file from within Visual Studio, it actually saves it in UTF-8 form. And this produces these weird characters, just for the very first line. So the way to fix that is to go over to Solution Explorer, go to wherever you've saved your text file. Remember, I saved mine in bin debug, so I don't have to write the path to the file over here when I open the file. I can just write the file name instead. Right click the file, open with, and then down here to notepad. Now if I resave the file, file save as, I'm going to keep the same file name, but I'm going to change the encoding here from UTF-8 to ANSI. Yep, I want to replace it. Close notepad. Now this is not an error. It's simply saying that there have been changes to this file outside of Visual Studio. Do we want to keep those changes? Well, yes we do. We've changed the encoding of this file, how the processor will actually view this file, from one encoding format, UTF-8, to another encoding format called ANSI. So yes to all. This time when we press F5 and run our program, we no longer have those funky characters at the beginning of the first word from our text file.